show up. Oh man, technical difficulties. Nope, it just doesn't want to stay. I guess that's going to have to work. Welcome to worship. So glad to see you all here. Did everyone get a bulletin and a communion cup? Not there's some out in the uh, entryway. A couple of announcements. First off, um, yesterday was Juneteenth. If you don't know about that celebration, I invite you to do a Google search and find out more. Um, it's a, a day that, especially a lot of new cities and communities this year have started to celebrate it. Uh, but it commemorates the day when um, all of the South actually found out that slavery had been abolished. So um, even after um, the Civil War was won and slavery was ended, a lot of slave owners neglected to inform their slaves that they were indeed free. Uh, so Juneteenth is sort of like the African American Independence Day, uh, where, especially in Texas, they're celebrating. Um, that was the day that they were informed that, oh, by the way, actually, slavery is no more. Uh, and yet, as we know, obviously, slavery. While in that form has ended, it continues on in other ways, um, in unjust laws, in uh, discrimination. Um, just ask anyone of color about driving in certain neighborhoods and uh, having to be careful of how they interact with the police. That's something that I never have to worry about with my 
skin that's almost as white as my whole. So, um, celebrate. I don't know if that's even the right word. Uh, that day. Um, and um, hopefully, moving forward, we'll have some more interaction with that as well. So. Also, today is Father's Day. So, I'd like to give a, a warm celebration to all our fathers. Congratulations. On your hard work. Um, and also, we hold in our hearts those for whom this day is, is not a day of celebration, um, but it's a difficult day. So, uh, we celebrate all the, the father figures in our lives, uh, including our Creator, uh, even as we lift up those for whom this day is difficult, whether due to loss of fathers, loss of children, um, exchange relationships. <coughs> Any other announcements? Oh, seeing Greg remind me. Greg has been very faithfully tending to our lawn uh, and in the winter to our, our snow blowing. Um, however, he is a very busy man, uh, and I think that he would very much appreciate some additional assistance. Uh, so if you are interested in helping to cut grass, um, he would love your assistance with that. Uh, if you want to say, hey, I'll take, I'll take July. Um, Greg, you can sign me up for, for December. I'll cut all the grass in December. <laughs> and knowing how Mother Nature is, this year we're going to have 60, 70 degree weather in December, and I'll be out there cutting grass. But, um, if you want to help out with that. And if you're, you'd like to help out, but you're not sure what the heck to do, um, I'm sure you're not alone. I'm sure Greg would love to talk with you about what all needs to get done. Um, his standards are up here. So, um, my standards are, are a little bit lower than his. Um, so if you can find some middle space, uh, that would be that'd be great. So if you're interested in that, let Greg or myself know. Any other I invite you to rise for the confession and In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Service continues with our gathering song. You may be seated. And just a note, like last week, if you weren't here, um, we're going to hear the tune first, and then when the words come up, then we start singing. Okay. Or listening intent.
apologies to those uh, who are streaming online. It means you're probably not going to be able to hear everything. Um, but you can follow along. So. Uh, the grace of our brother Jesus, the love of Pat's Mamas, and the unity found in the Holy Spirit be with you all. from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help, save, comfort, Defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Let us pray together our prayer of the day. It's found on the street. O God of creation, eternal majesty, you preside over land and sea, sunshine and storm. By your strength, pilot us. By your power, preserve us. By your wisdom, instruct us. And by your hand, protect us. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The service continues with our readings. Psalm responsibly by whole verse, and by the congregation read the verses that are in full. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good, for God's mercy endures forever. Gathering them in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south.
mounted up to the heavens and descended to the depths. Their souls melted away in their peril. Then in their trouble they cried to the Lord, and you delivered them from their distress. Then were they glad when it grew calm, when you guided them to the harbor they desired. Let them exalt you in the assembly of the people. In the council of the elders, let them sing hallelujah. Our second reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 6. As we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For he says, at an acceptable time, I have listened to you, and on a day of salvation, I have helped you. See now is the acceptable time. See now is the date of salvation. We are putting no obstacle in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way, through great endurance, in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of spirit, <coughs> genuine love, truth, truthful speech, and the power of God, with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left, in honor and dishonor, in ill repute and good repute. We are treated as impostors, and yet are true, as unknown, and yet are well known, as dying, and see, we are alive, as punished, and yet not killed, as sorrowful, sour, sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing everything. We have spoken frankly to, to you, Corinthians, our heart is wide open to you. There is no restriction in your aff affection, but only in yours. In return, I speak, to, I speak as to children. Open wide your hearts also. Here is the reading. <coughs> I invite you to rise for the gospel reading. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 4. When evening had come, Jesus said to the disciples, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. He was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. Jesus said, why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? The Gospel of our Lord. Please be seated. Imagine, if you will, this afternoon you decide it's a great day to go fishing. Which, I 
think on Father's Day, many people feel that way. And so you decide to gather up a group, get in your boat, get all your lines in the water, and wait for the fish to nibble. Suddenly, almost as if out of nowhere, almost as if it was ordained by God, a storm appears, surrounding you and your boat. Suddenly, those waters start to tumble, crash against the side of your vessel, even crash over the top, You're taking on water faster than you can bail it out. And you fear that your vessel, your boat, and all of your lives are at risk. you give up? Stop bailing out water? Would you say, well, I guess it's my time, and sit down? Or would you start hauling out buckets even faster and start praying to God for some help? Now maybe you're ready to meet your maker and have no problem with just sitting in that boat and sinking but I think I'd be giving it all I was worth. In our gospel reading today, Jesus' disciples, if you remember, were not inexperienced people on a boat. Most of them came from fishing families. They'd been on the water in good weather, in bad weather, in super hot days, and stormy seas where they couldn't even see the shore. They were experienced, and even they were terrified. <coughs> Life just hadn't prepared them enough for this moment. And then they see Jesus, not bothered at all, just asleep in the middle of this horrible storm. So they say, Jesus, help us out here, man. Don't you care that we are about to perish? Don't you care about us in our lives? Jesus wakes up, tells the storm, peace, be still. In our own lives, this can often feel this way. Everything is out of control. We are being swamped, flooded with things that we just can't bear. It seems at times that day after day, more and more is piled on, and our arms get so tired of bailing out water. ask God for help because we don't think we can make it through this. I hope for you in those moments you hear these words. Peace. Be still. Have faith. I also want to go back a bit. In our reading in verse 36, a little snippet in there, but I think it's important. And they say that they took him with them in the boat just as he was, and other boats were with him. It reminds me of when Jesus, as the good shepherd, reminds us that he has other sheep, other flocks that he will also tend to and will gather together. But it also reminds me that I'm not the only boat on the ocean that might need saving. And for me, a white man with family and friends close by, financial resources, job, health care, I've got a pretty secure and solid boat 
not be a yacht or anything, but it's a nice boat. Other people aren't quite as fortunate. And while we might be in the same storm, we're not always in the same boat. Three foot waves mean a totally different thing to a yacht and a rowboat. What for one might be a little splashing, for another could be a death sentence. As we wade through life together, we cast lines to one another tie ourselves together, build a bigger raft of the kingdom of God. We become a part of something so much bigger than ourselves. So that when one boat springs a leak, the others around them can help them out. <coughs> when one part of the sea is full of storms, the other parts can help out resources while they enjoy the sunshine and the nibbling fish. There are other boats, other people in the world around us to be mindful of. And when it seems like God is ignoring us, it might be because God's helping someone else in even more need. Or, the storm that we see as so terrifying might not really be that bad. We might be experienced fishermen, some of us a little bit more than others, but none of us is so experienced as God, our Father, Creator of the entire earth. The one who decided just how big the world would be. Decided exactly where everything should go. How everything should look. When you look outside at the leaves, at nature, Swirls and patterns of the tiniest little things. You can see the kingdom of God in those details. Nothing was left out, nothing was ignored. As beautiful as watching nature around us is, also remember that you are a part of that. Just as you admire the beauty in flowers, just as you admire the, the strength and magnificence of water, a life-giving resource around us, remember that the same Creator who created all those beautiful things created you. And in that creation story, Remember, God looked upon all that he had created, and it, and you, were very good. Let's sing together our hymn of the day.
words of a credo statement. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come up to the rich, the living, and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Lord. Let us come before the triune God in prayer. Holy God, you gather your people from east and west, north and south. We pray for the mission of the church throughout the world, that your steadfast love may be made known to all peoples. Lord, in your mercy, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the waters are the womb of creation. The morning stars sing your name, and all creation shouts for joy. We pray for your blessed creation, that it may continue to flourish and magnify your glory. Lord, in your mercy, we keep watch over all nations. We pray for countries experiencing violence, hunger, and unrest. Guide worldwide and local community organizations in their efforts to establish safety and justice. Lord, in your mercy, you are close to the brokenhearted and near to those in distress. We pray for those who are experiencing oppression. Liberate us from the systems and chains that bind us. Remove the barriers that separate us from one another. Lord, in your mercy, you dwell with us in this faith community. We pray for our leaders and elders, those we lift up in our hearts and name aloud at this time. knowledge, patience, and kindness, and the comfort of your loving embrace. Lord, in your mercy, your love endures all situations. On this Father's Day, we pray for those who are fathers or wish to be fathers, for those with broken or strained relationships, for those who are missing their fathers, and for fathers lost children. Bless and strengthen them. Lord, in your mercy, <clears throat> we lift our prayers to you, O God, trusting in your abiding grace. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Also with you. I invite you to share that peace with those around you. Then let us pray. God of all creation, all you have made is good, and your love.
love endures forever. Bring forth bread from the earth and fruit from the vine. Nourish us with these gifts that we might be the world, signs of your gracious presence. In Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. So, with all the choirs and angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, broken for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood and for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Will God taste and see that the Lord is Precious God, in this meal you have drawn us to your heart and nourished us at your table with food and drink, the body and blood of Christ. Now send us forth to be your people in the world and to proclaim your truth this day and evermore. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. May Patamawas bless you and keep May Patamawa shine on you and be gracious to you. Patamawa look upon you with, you with favor and grant you peace. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit that makes us one. Amen and amen. Sing our sending hymn. Life goes on and end this song.